Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and what I wanted to do in this video was a very simple idea, but really just to talk about visual cues, and just kind of trying to make sure that everybody's got a baseline knowledge of what some of these individual things that you're seeing actually correspond to in the game, to hopefully help you kind of have a better experience when you play, and if nothing else, just kind of speed things up for you. Okay, so finding an array entrance point is kind of interesting, and it's not that hard once you actually know where it's at, but just getting a little bit of baseline knowledge here is going to help you. So, um, right about where the uh, solar panels come off and connect is about the where the kind of the general area that you want to be, um, because that's where the entrance is going to be, or at least it's a pretty good um, indicator. And then what you want to do is you want to end up finding what looks to be a door with some pipes um, that are actually going to be available, and you will see it here in just a moment. There's your visual cue. I'll turn on my ship lights, and you can see you just go in through that little door right there. And that's how you actually get into a comma array to turn it off if you feel like being bad or turn it on if you feel like being good. Um, but if I just slowly back up from the door, you'll see exactly where it is on or in relation to the overall um, satellite itself. So you can see, just use the connection point as your uh, your starting point, and then it's going to be on one of the sides. It's typically on the one that's on the downslope side. Um, but again, I haven't done a whole lot of science on it. But there you go, comma arrays. All right, so when you come to Grimhex, it can be a little bit challenging to actually find the landing pads that are going to be present because it's kind of, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of visuals that make things a little bit harder to do. Um, but one of the simplest things that you can do to find this is actually, one, when you jump in, look for other ships that are in the area because they're generally landed and will give you a pretty good idea of where you need to go. Um, the other thing that you can do is look for just other like structural objects, like I'll zoom in here for a sec. Um, you can start to see the actual building in the interface, like this is where you're going to be going in. Now even when you're not zoomed in, you can see that it's a man-made cre you know, creation. It's not something that's actually natural like the stone. Now that's not necessarily all that unique at a location like this, um, but you know, you've got all these tendrils and everything. So basically what you want to do, is you, as you get a little bit closer, avoid the asteroids obviously, and things start to come into uh, view a little bit better. Um, and then the landing pad is located on what is generally considered to be the top of this asteroid. Um, if you come in and you're not really sure where to go, just simply rotate around. You'll eventually get a pretty good idea of where it's at. But um, if, if you kind of look and just try and take into consideration where everything is basically situated, um, it's on the top of the asteroid um, and it's where you're going to actually have these pads. Um, but again, using the ships as your marker is going to be the single best thing that you can do in order to actually find yourself the landing pad here. Otherwise, look for man-made structures. Okay, um, when it comes to semi-major outposts, basically locations that have landing pads and more than one actual building, um, it can become a little bit cr you know, confusing to know which one, like, building you actually want to go to in order to accomplish various tasks. So in order to pull a vehicle at one of these locations, the building that you always want to look for is typically going to be um, this one generally has a little spike sticking off the top of it. It's kind of got a blue paint job to it. It's normally connected to a landing pad, and in addition, it has this additional little spawn point, which doesn't actually function today. That looks like it would be perfect for a rover or something small to actually spawn there, maybe kind of pull up there to do repairs. But that's going to be the building that you want to run to in order to actually pull um, vehicles from a terminal. Then the other building that people want to look for um, is typically going to be the building that is going to offer you the commodities terminal um, because that's mo the main reason why most people are flying. And the building you're looking for is storage and the landmark that you're typically going to want to look for is this spike that kind of has like a half crescent shape to it. It almost looks like a, like a C in a way. Um, it sticks off. You'll see once we actually get down here, I'll uh, actually just use free look. The front of the building says storage, but that's so small, you're never really going to be able to see that from space or on your approach. But looking for this particular little spire sticking off is what I always use. Um, you'll notice when I come over to this one over here, it is a different shape. It's just like a pure, um, I guess, stick in the, you know, coming right off. Um, it's also not really attached to a building. Um, but that unique shape of that kind of crescent C shape off of that one building is what you're really going to be looking for in order to spawn. Um, keep in mind that at an outpost like this, it is a little bit funny because considering um, this building over here has a similar shape too. Just know the blue one is always going to be your vehicle spawn point. Um, the other, any other color is going to be where your terminal is actually located. 
The last little visual cue I want to talk about is a very simple one, um, but it's in regards to Port Alizar. And a lot of times you'll jump in and say, okay, I'm not sure where the landing pads are. Are they up or down? Are they facing the other direction? What's going on? Well, the simplest thing I can tell you here is that um, if you want to adjust your flight as you're flying in, think of Port Alizar as a ship sitting on the sea. And basically the spine that runs through the entire station is at sea level. So you can tell right now that these areas stick out further below. It's almost like it's kind of the uh, bow of the ship, or not the bow, the underside of the ship that's actually under the water. That's the way I generally look at it. And then what we say is that the overall um, you know, building shape is at the top. So you almost look at like a triangular shape on the bottom, and then you get a square shape at the top. It almost looks like a ship going cutting through the ocean. Um, so basically your landing pads are here, and you would be coming in and landing on this side. Now again, that's very minor. You know, that's not something that's a huge deal, but let's say you're coming in at an angle like this, and you've got a big, you know, a big ship like a Starfare, and you're wanting to land it. You may as well take advantage of the fact that you can start orienting yourself on the way instead of, you know, arriving at some, you know, arriving like this and being like, oh, damn, the pads are above me, and now you got to spend the time to actually flip around and get to the right spot. So, again, these are pretty simple things. They're really minor, but just if you haven't seen any of these or just they're kind of new to you, um, it can just kind of help make your PlayStations a little bit better. So if you have questions on this, let me know. Otherwise, just stay tuned for more. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and take care.